All right, hello everybody. Um, <clears throat> it's been a while since my last video. Uh, last posted in August. Um, mainly, I did, haven't posted anything because I don't like posting anything unless I think it's actually going to be useful information for somebody out there who's watching. Uh, the target audience for this video is, or yeah, it is um, potential grad students, I guess, or people that um, people that have thought about grad school but have been deterred by the idea of loans or paying for grad school. Um, basically, I want to let everybody know, because this seems to be a common misconception um, amongst the general public, you can actually get paid to go to grad school for certain programs, um, mainly PhD programs. I myself am currently in a PhD program in uh, genetics, uh, so I'm more so familiar with life science type programs um, but I am pretty sure that things work similarly with PhD programs in the humanities in uh, other STEM fields mathematics engineering um, based on conversations I've had with other grad students in different fields uh, so yeah you can get paid to do a PhD um, in many different fields uh, basically I don't, I don't know why this isn't really widely advertised uh, to undergraduates and to the general public um, but it's a thing like for pretty much all PhD programs if you get accepted to that program it's kind of under the stipulation the idea that they will somehow find a way to fund you whether that be through um, granting you a graduate student uh, research fellowship or granting you a position as a teaching assistant they will find a way to make sure you have money um, and I didn't know this before applying to grad school actually and I applied uh, kind of a last-minute thing um, I wasn't planning on applying to PhD programs at all but I wanted to do a like a master's program at the same university that I did my undergrad so I started the application process one of my references told me uh, oh you should apply to some PhD programs and see what happens so I applied to one PhD program at UC Davis where I'm currently at and um, luckily I actually got accepted which I wasn't expecting at all but um, I got accepted and it was only when I got the acceptance letter that I realized that I didn't need to pay them, they were going to pay me. Uh, and it was kind of funny, I had um, in my hands the the two schools that I applied to. Um, I was also accepted to Tufts for a master's program. And so I was looking at the two letters and Tufts, I was going to need to pay them like 30 something thousand per year to do a master's. Uh, whereas UC Davis for a PhD, they were going to pay me like 26,000 a year. So uh, it was like a 50 something thousand dollar switch between programs and I'd get a PhD doing this one. Uh, so bottom line, if you do a PhD program, most likely you will get paid to do that PhD program. Um, master's programs are a little bit different. There isn't necessarily guaranteed funding for master's students. Uh, so that's, that's something definitely to consider weigh your options between a PhD and a master's degree but if you are or if you have considered a PhD degree in the past but have been deterred by the idea of paying more loans know that that's actually not necessarily the case and quite likely you will get paid to get that degree um, I've actually in the process of my PhD I'm, I'm now fifth year in my program uh, so hopefully this is my last year, but in, throughout this process in grad school, I've actually been able to pay back most of my loans from undergrad, uh, still chipping away at that. But yeah, so you can get paid to go to grad school. Don't let money uh, be a factor because you'll be able to make money and not lose money. Um, just wanted to say that, I'll keep this video short. Um, I guess for any prospect of grad students, if you have any questions uh, that you'd like me to elaborate further on or give further insight feel free to comment below um, I'd love to post more videos if I know that they're actually going to be useful for somebody 
That's why I don't post them very often because I feel like any content that I come up with isn't necessarily going to appeal to anybody. Uh, but if you have specific questions and I know I'm actually making a difference for somebody, I'd love to uh, share some of my insight and experience. Um, okay, so that's it for now. Uh, have a good night and talk to you guys later. All right.